Hi, and welcome to this introduction to Kaggle and how to enter Kaggle competitions, um, how to make submissions, and just really get started with this awesome website and awesome way to compete against data scientists around the world. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the screen that we all know and love, the classic Google screen. So just uh, K-A-G-G-L-E, hit that in there, and you'll see your home for data science Kaggle. Of course, um, at this stage, you will want to start your own membership. It's totally free. You just need an a email address. So go ahead and get a Kaggle membership. At that point, you can hit competitions, and competitions will take you to this area where there are, if you hit all here, you can see every competition that ever was on Kaggle, which are hundreds now. Um, if you just come to this front page, these are the active ones. We're gonna go down to house prices. That's the one we're gonna uh, see here in this example. So if I click on that, um, you'll come up with this. Every Kaggle data set um, has a description. It kind of tells you what the competition's all about. Gives you a little motivation. Um, and then you'll want to go to data. And inside of data, um, usually at this point, you'll uh, Kaggle will come up and say something about how it wants you to sign off on some rules and regulations. Go ahead and sign off on those. And um, in this particular one, as with a lot of Kaggle competitions, you have a training set and a test set. Um, and in the training set, it has the explanatory variables and it has the responses. Where in the test set, it just has the explanatory variables. It does not have the responses. The big idea, of course, is to fit your model, do all the cross validation and all of the just model fitting techniques that you're going to use to estimate the parameters of your model using the, uh, the training set, using the training set, and then to take that model and then make predictions uh, for those response variables uh, in the test set. So you're going to use all the explanatory variables in the test set to make predictions, for this case, the sale price, um, in which the test set does not have those, Kaggle keeps those. So again, the big idea is you're going to train your model on the uh, training set, develop your parameter estimates, and then use those with the explanatory variables from the test set to get predictions for sale price. Then you're going to ship those off to, um, you're going to submit those to Kaggle. Kaggle is going to compare your predicted sale prices to the actual sale prices and it's going to give you some sort of objective function. In this case, it's a function of the uh, RMSE, uh, root mean squared error, except it's a logged version of that. Um, so uh, in, in the, uh, the actual um, objective function is available. Actually, if you go back to overview and you go over to evaluation, um, evaluation will tell you that right here, new means, uh, so submissions are evaluated on root mean squared error. Actually, it's not on the log. So this one is on the root mean squared error. So um, so great, so you can check that out. Um, the next thing we wanna do here though is find out how to actually make submissions. So you'll download this training set. So I'll just download that guy just like that. And it takes a little bit of time, but we'll have it. You can check out this training set. Here it is. Notice it's got all kinds of explanatory variables. There they are. It's got fireplaces. Uh, each one of these rows is a house. And there's 1,460 of them in the training set. Again, it's got lot configuration. It's got the lot area. It's got the square footage of the house. It's got stuff about the basements, about the kitchens, about the type of roof it's got on it, bathrooms. It's got a lot of variables on each house. And of course, uh, it has the sale price over here. So it has a column for sale price and it has the actual sale prices because it's the training set. So um, then of course, if you go and look at the test set, so I'll go ahead and download the test set here. If you download the test set, we go look at the test set and it's got 1,459 houses. If you go scroll all the way down to the bottom, um, notice some of them have missing values that you'll need to take care of in the data cleaning process. But if we come all the way over here to the end, it does not have a sale price and it does not have the response variables. So we are gonna have to make those predictions given these explanatory variables, all 1,459 of them. Keeping in mind here, I'll go ahead and just say this so when you're troubleshooting later, these are sale prices and thus they cannot be negative. Um, in fact, I believe they have to be bigger than zero. So if uh, Kaggle kicks back your score saying that it's got not a numbers or division by zero, it's probably because you have uh, sale prices that are negative or um, like you're trying to take a square root of a negative number or, um, or zeros or simply just missing. They can't be missing either. So, um, so just a hint there, but notice that the, again, it's not there. We're gonna have to create those and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we'll go over to SAS. Um, at this point, we're in the SAS code. Um, I'm assuming that you have already imported the training set and the test set and that you've called the test set test and you've called the training set train. 
Um, so if we were to, uh, I always advocate uh, a little proc print action, except it is not letting me do that at the moment. So let me check out what is going on on the computer. Hmm. Oh, I know what the problem is. So you actually have to edit that guy. All right. So um, so I highlight that, and I'm going to go ahead and print just to make sure I've got what I think I've got. I'm only going to do this for the test set. I would recommend doing it for the test and the training set. Um, we're just going in here to verify that there are 1,459 rows and that there is indeed no sales column. So uh, we go to the bottom there. There are 1,459 observations. And we go all the way over here to the end, noticing we have all the explanatory variables, um, noting we don't have, might not have all of them. It might be missing values. We definitely have to check that out or we'll get a missing value in the, uh, in the prediction. Um, and also, if you have a categorical variable like this one, fence, that has like GDPRV, if that's not in, if there's not at least one instance of that in the training set, it won't know what to do with this. So those are just some troubleshooting um, ideas when you're cleaning both data sets. You've got to clean the test set, explanatory variables, and the training set. But notice here the last column is sales, uh, sale condition, not sale price. And so we're going to need to fix that. So that's what we're going to do here is I'm just going to kind of take you through this code. That's another code I had. So here it is. Um, so when you're running through this on your own, this first step here is to simply create a sale price column. I'll encourage you to uh, run this and then print it. You'll see the same data set we just saw, but with a dot, a, a column called sale price and dots all the way down. So we just created the space for our predictions. Then what we're going to do is um, append the test set to the training set. That's how we get SAS to give us our predictions. So again, I would go through this um, print after every data, after every step, just to see that you've got what you've got. But once we have this train, we'll call it train two. This is a data set that has the first 1,460 rows are the training set, which has the sale, uh, which has actual values for the sale price. And after that are another 1,459 uh, rows that have a column that they, for sale price because they're concatenated here. Oh, your, this actual train two data set will have one sale price. The first 1,460 will have sale prices. The next 1,459 will just have dots. So we've got it all into one data set. We give that data set to ProcGLM. This should all look familiar. You're just This is just some garbage model I created as an example. Not by any means the best model. Um, but we, we're giving it this training set and we're giving it um, the test set, which is all rolled into this train two set. For everything it has the response on, it's gonna fit the model. For everything it doesn't have the response on, it's going to make a prediction. That's how SAS works. So it's gonna output those predictions to this output data set that I call results. I encourage you to uh, copy after or to print that one so you can see what you've got there but then we've got to clean it up because Kaggle just wants the ID numbers of the house in the test set the ID numbers of the house and the predictions doesn't want all the explanatory variables in between so we're going to take our data set that has all the explanatory variables and all the predictions and we're going to make this thing called data results 2 and results 2 we set results if the predictions are greater than zero, which are good, then we're just going to keep them. If the predictions are less than zero, then uh, we'll make the sale price 10000 or some. You can make this a smart guess um, if it's less than 2000 Probably don't want to guess zero or probably don't want to guess 0 0.00001 because houses don't cost that much. So, And there's certainly smarter ways to input this value. This is just an example. Um, this keep just says, hey, get rid of all the other columns except for the ID and the sale price and uh, where ID is greater than 460. So um, at the end of the day, this proc means here was just me checking to see if, if there were any missing values. But in fact, let's go ahead and run that. Let's go ahead and run this whole thing. So we run this whole thing. Could have probably done that while I was talking. Oh boy, this might take a little while. So I guess I better keep talking. So it looks like my computer Peter is revving up, but um, if we let it run, so it's going through right now, it's concatenating the training and the test set, then it's running the model, then after the model with all the training set, it's making predictions for all the other, the second 459 rows of the test set, and then of course we're going to clean that up a little bit, any negative ones are going to become 10,000, uh, and then we're going to um, cut our data set out. 
And at the end of the day, we can see that the minimum of results two, the minimum was 10,000, the maximum was 397,000. And we're gonna take that data set and we are now going to, um, in fact, I encourage you to print that out. You'll, uh, you'll have this code. Um, so in the interest of time, uh, we'll just go ahead and submit it. So what we're gonna do here is say file, export data, depending on the version of SAS, you'll be able to do this in whatever version, it just may not have this look and feel. I've got results two here, so I'm gonna ex export results two. Next, I'm gonna come over here and I want it in a CSV file because that's what uh, Kaggle wants. So I'll do that and then I will do this guy and I'll go put it over here in this spot that I know on my computer, this will be obviously different than your computer. And I'm gonna call it submit one. You can call it whatever you want. Obviously I'm gonna have to overwrite it. And we'll finish that. Fantastic. Um, just, just to be, just to show it off here, I'll show you submit one. This is what submit one looks like. It has an ID number and a sale price and all of these need to be um, non-zero and need to be positive. So we'll just call that positive. So, okay, great. So at that point, you're just gonna come over here to Kaggle, say submit predictions. Notice that's on the data step. Submit predictions, upload file, and I'm gonna come over here to submit one and open, because that's the one that I just saved it to. I'm gonna open it, it tells me that it's loaded. That's great. I'll make my submission and it's gonna think here, it's gonna tell us, oh, something cool. Whoa and it went pretty quick. Um, so this guy right here, again, I'm not trying to show off any particular Kaggle skills here. This is a terrible score because it was a garbage model, but um, it looks like we are ranked currently 2,105. That is our Kaggle score. You're trying to beat that. That's 0 .30871, um, but that's what you, you should find. You can compare yourself to every other Kaggler in the country, in the world that's doing this data set and try to beat, um, Try to beat them. But that's it. That's from start to finish, how to grab the data set, train it on the training set, get predictions for the test set, um, make those into a submission file, submit it to Kaggle, and get your score. Nice work. See you next time.